Okay, so this is a really impromptu video, but I recently came across this TikTok about canceling Micah Stouffer. I don't even know if I'm saying her name right, um, but I'm just gonna play you the video so you guys can know what I'm talking about. Good morning, TikTok. I need a little bit of help canceling Micah Stouffer. Micah and her family adopted little baby Huxley a couple years ago from China. She documented the entire uh, adoption process on YouTube, um, and that's actually what sparked her influx of followers. Huxley has autism, and after a while, they started posting things about how difficult um, things have been throughout the family and that they are going to make it through any hardships. Um, a lot of positive posts. As of a few days ago, they gave away baby Huxley. They said that he had too many issues and that he was too difficult for them to take care of, uh, that they didn't have the ability to take care of him even though they live in a you know multi-million dollar home with four other children. Now that her followers are expressing their opinions on this, she thinks it's too hurtful. She's on Instagram and TikTok. Help me cancel her. If you are new to my channel, I am an adopted girl from China. Um, I don't know Chinese. I barely know the heritage. I don't um, really, uh, connect with it at all. I'm pretty Americanized. Um, I have two moms. They are gay, but I am not. So I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. So um, you guys know a little bit more about me. And I was adopted when I was one, so I can't even imagine what poor Huxley is going through. Luckily, I don't remember anything from China, and I just wanted to mention that in this video. So it can give you a little better context of my experience. I just want to share my thoughts on this subject because it kind of touched me when I saw it. I watched their video. I'll link everything down below so you guys can check it out. But this is just one of the top comments was just like, wow. I see a lot of things from different angles because I know certain things about Chinese adoption and everything like that. This is not scripted. I don't have any notes. I normally have notes when I make videos so I don't get off topic and ramble, but I feel like I'm just gonna ramble in this one because this is so impromptu, so I'm sorry. If you had a born child like from your body, okay, and whoever you believe in in the world didn't tell you that your child was going to have issues, would you do the same thing? Um, would you just return it or would you just get rid of it? Now, parents of biological children abuse slash abandon their own kids, their own biological kids. So I guess I can see that as a similarity, but I just would want to ask Micah and her husband. Again, I barely knew who these people were. I only really know them because they went through the adoption process to adopt their son um, from China. I didn't really follow them too closely. Don't know much about their family. But what I would wanna ask would be, if your biological child that you had, I think they do have a biological child, but um, if your biological child had needs, just like Huxley, when he or she was born, would you do the same thing? Like, ask yourself that question. Um, there would be times when my parents would get a comment like, oh, if you adopt, you don't know what you're gonna get. But it's just like that with a biological child. You don't know what issues that child may have or the disabilities or the um, impairments. You don't know that even when it's coming from your own body, you know? So that's one thing I would ask um, Micah and her husband. And maybe they have, maybe they would. I don't know them, but it's just really frustrating. Um, it kind of reminds me of the people that like return their son from like, I don't know, was it Russia or uh, maybe Ukraine? I don't know. But there's like been many stories kind of similar to this. Another, I guess, more negative thing I would have to say about this is I know that you didn't know what you were going to get and I'm going to get into that in a little bit, but you made videos and you profited off of this process. And you also had your subscribers help pay for certain things. For example, to help bring your son home, or I should say your ex-son. That's kind of crazy as well. I don't know how one would feel about that. I don't know even what to say to that. 
Um, one would say it's very exploitive. It frustrates me that she has gained almost a million subscribers because of the fact she shared her process on adopting a child from China. And now she wants to get rid of him or return him. If this isn't an example of using someone, I don't know what is. I love family vlogs, but just this whole scenario, and maybe they didn't think that they were gonna be in this predicament, so they wanted to document it. But I think that they should take all the videos down because again, I understand that they can't say much because of legal reasons and all of that. Um, but again, you chose to put your life out there. You, people feel entitled to want to know what's going on and they want the best for um, the little boy that was adopted. And I am going to mention that after watching more videos and doing more research on this topic, um, this is actually just an initial response video. I agree with what one person said. Because they documented getting their son, they should definitely document getting rid of him because I do feel like people are entitled to that and they've made such a profit off of getting him. I'm a lot nicer in this video than what I feel now. Now I'm gonna get into kind of the other side of things. As you guys know, I was adopted. I said that in the beginning of the video. And there was a multiple kids that I was adopted with, girls, and um, we all have stayed in contact, sort of. Um, not sort of, we actually have. Um, there was eight or nine of us, I can never remember the number, but my parents and their parents all stayed in contact, so every year we would have a reunion. We were from Shaman, um, like that area in China, so we would call each other the Shaman Sisters. Now, um, the people that were in charge of like, you know, matching babies. I don't really know too much about this, nor do I want to get in trouble. So like, please people don't come for me. But um, what my parents I think told me was that um, they wouldn't like lie, but you don't know what you're going to get when you adopt a child from China because of so many things that that happen. I don't know if I'm putting this into words. I just don't want to get in trouble <laughs> by like saying something. But let's just say I was very behind um, when I came back from the orphanage. Like, oh my mom. I was very behind. A lot of the girls also had needs that were not, that were not disclosed kind of, um, allegedly. Um, because they also needed a lot of help. Like we all needed a lot of help and stimulation and everything. So seeing their situation, I can understand where she's coming from. And I don't even know the types of treatments they tried to give Huxley or anything like that. Um, that's not really any my business, but still, if they have the resources, Again, I'm just going to put out there, they have 700,000 subscribers and I'm sure they get a lot of brand deals. So just knowing that they do that, they have the resources and the time and the money to help him. And I'm sure that people with a very affluent kind of lifestyle can um, afford maybe a home nurse or like all of this, these therapies and stuff and maybe even hire a nanny to help him and stuff, but don't like kind of like give him to a new family. I don't know, it's just so frustrating. I don't even know what to think of being adopted myself. I don't know, like what could that poor child be thinking? No matter what disability he has. And after my research, I also learned that they knew what problems he had and there was actually a doctor that tried to discourage this adoption but they were like no our son is not returnable and they just like proceeded with it guys that should have been a warning sign I don't even know I don't know take a shot every time I say I don't know because I really don't know when you adopt a child like you're kind of committed to that child just like you had the baby from your body me as a child and some of the girls I was adopted with we're in very um, rough conditions, like developmentally wise and everything. But the parents of the people that I was adopted with, like we all got what we needed. And I feel like with Huxley, they could have, but maybe they just like don't know. And 
They do seem like younger parents. I don't know how old they are. All of the parents that adopted girls when my parents did were all older. So maybe it has something to do with age and like, um, I don't, I'm not, I wouldn't say maturity, but like just different life experiences. I don't know what adoption agency they went through, especially too, knowing it's a boy, knowing Huxley was a boy, um, boys in the Chinese culture, at least this is back in the day, like way a long time ago. Um, they would only have boys for adoption if they had needs that um, would need a lot of help. So um, if they had special needs or other developmental delays, they would definitely be up for adoption and they were more likely to be abandoned and stuff because boys in the Chinese culture were looked up upon um, and girls are not really. So that's why a lot of girls were abandoned and everything on the side of the road and stuff because we weren't really wanted. And that's why the likelihood of a girl having more special needs than a boy is a lot less likely. That is from my understanding. This is all alleged. Personally, I know this is a little off topic, but I want to bear my own children um, just because I want that experience. Again, I don't have anything wrong with adoption, clearly, but um, I just want that experience. And I think it's great that I will give credit when credit's due. I'm very happy that they gave a child more opportunity and brought him to the United States um, and, and, and gave and put in effort to get him the help and therapies he needed. But I don't know, man. Like, I wish they would just share more of like, why? Um, and I know they can't for like legal reasons and other other reasons, but I feel like they needed to do a little bit more research on their part about Chinese adoption. And like I said previously, they wanted a, a boy, I guess. I don't know, maybe girls, I think girls are like kind of scarce now because they got rid of all the girls like during my time of like adoption and everything because of the one child policy. Um, I, I kind of forgot to mention that earlier, but there was a one child policy. They wanted to get rid of all the girls, so they did. Um, and now they have like more of a shortage on girls from my understanding and it's just kind of crazy But if they were getting a boy, they should have really have done more research I think they were told about certain things that Huxley needed and everything But you should expect the worst you really should because like I was so far behind that like, you know, my parents didn't know um, and hell, I didn't even know I was alive probably. So, um, I think that their mindset and when they went into this process, I think they should have expected the worst, like what they're experiencing now. Um, they shouldn't have just gone with what people said because you should never do that. Um, you should always, I'm not saying, oh, think the worst, but what I'm saying is be prepared have some realistic viewpoints on the situation. So I think this is enough for my rambles. I really wanna know your opinion on it. Again, I'm not trying to like hate or cancel. I just wanna present this because I am an adopted girl from China and they basically rehomed their China adoptee son. And I'm just like, wow. So let me know your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed this video or just wanna have a conversation, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I vlog my life, do some other fun things, fitness, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.